Hi, I'm Caroline and today I'm going to show you a very quick and easy upcycling idea for your old spotlight bulbs that no longer work. We're going to turn them into a photo or a card holder. So let's get upcycling. You will need some old spotlight bulbs, some chalk paint or some wood or metal paint, a paintbrush, one millimetre garden wire, a pen, a pair of pliers, a skewer or a cocktail stick and some silver acrylic paint. Okay, so you want to start by taking your bulb. Um, now what to do is just check with your bulb um, as to whether you've got a flat or a rounded base. Um, if it's a rounded base, there will be a wee bit more movement to it, but you can use it just the same. It just means it'll be a wee bit more fiddly when you're wrapping the wire. So take your bulb and then get your paint. I'm using a chalk paint here, um, but you could use a kind of wood or a metal paint that would work just as well. So when you're painting, what you want to make sure that you do is that you do nice, smooth, long and even strokes and that you don't use too much paint because uh, if you use too much it will start to run. So just cover the bulb completely and then leave that to dry. Now it's probably going to take about 20 to 30 minutes to dry. Okay so that's my bulb dry and now what I'm going to do is just add a wee bit of decoration to it because it's looking a bit plain. So I'm just going to take some silver acrylic paint and I'm just going to drop a couple of splashes on there, just a bit randomly. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is take my skewer and just run that roughly, rather haphazardly, across the paint. And all it does is just add a bit of texture and a bit of interest to it. So again, you'll need to leave that to dry. Uh, with the acrylic paint, you're probably talking maybe about 15, 20 minutes. Okay, so that's my paint dried. So then what you wanna do is to move on to wrapping your wire. Um, so if you are doing um, this kind of bendy pattern, then you need a good length of wire. So I would say about um, 12 inches. Um, if you're doing one that's um, just like a short straight one, you probably need about eight inches. And if you're going to do the two prong one, probably I would say about 16 to 18 inches. So what you want to start off by doing is doing the top bit first. And all I'm going to do there is just take the wire and the pen and just wrap the wire around a couple of times. Now be careful and make sure that you push the wire out of the way because you don't want to be poking yourself in the eye with that. So you're going to wrap that round a couple of times and that just gives you a couple of little circles there and you're going to have that top bit sticking out so you just want to take your pliers and just push that in so then once you've done your top bit you then want to take the bottom of the wire and just put it in between the two prongs and just start to swirl that round get a wee bit finicky this So and what you're doing here is just wrapping it around the two prongs and it's going to be kind of like the infinity sign. So you're going to wrap it around a couple of times and what you might find is that a bit of the paint might kind of chip off there but that's fine you can go back over that again. Okay. So and then what I've done is I've just brought the wire out through the middle there and then all I'm going to do is just start to bend that and shape that. So that comes out in the middle, like so. And then you can just slot your card in there. Okay. Now, if you wanted to do the two prong one, all you need to do with that one is instead of starting at the end, you're just gonna start that in the middle. If you want one kind of longer than the other, then you are gonna kind of start it off at like a bit uneven. And again, it's just a case of wrapping it around the prongs. And again, that bit can be a wee bit fiddly. Put that one round again once more just to steady it. So you can see here this one's been a bit of a shorter length of wire that I've used. Okay. 
and there you go. Well that's it for today's tutorial. I do hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, then please give us a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, then hit the subscribe button. Until next time, happy upcycling.